All right, everybody. Bold and curious here. Uh, got a little upgrade for my Smith and Wesson Victory at the uh, Smith and Wesson uh, Internationals 2017. The tandem cross. They were one of the sponsors. Thank you very much. They had a booth set up over there. Uh, they were give, giving away little gifts, and you were able to pu purchase stuff tax free, no shipping. So uh, unfortunately, I didn't have my, a whole lot of money on me. So uh, I only bought a trigger. Now I know that uh, 22 planks has got a, it's got this gun uh, all tricked out with a couple other uh, things from uh, Tandem Cross. Uh, really nice guys, really nice company. I'm not gonna go crazy and show you the show you the video how it's put in. If you wanna do that, you go see uh, uh, Tandem Cross. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description. I'm just gonna do like before and after. So, uh, guns clear, and uh, I forgot I need a magazine, because this thing has a magazine disconnect, which uh, I'm thinking at the same time I might, I might uh, get rid of. Uh, one thing I wish I bought, uh, I didn't have money, was uh, the little hook that goes at the end for, uh, for the charging the gun, that looked real cool. Okay, so we got a snap cam in there. Uh, the shape and a, and a pre-travel of the trigger, I'm not too crazy about. You know, there's a... Uh... Okay, I, don't, I didn't want to do that. I just want to show the reset and everything. Okay, so really small reset. And... So, not too crazy. The trigger itself... Uh, let me see. I think it's listed at about five pounds or something like that, which uh, is not bad. But this is supposed to drop it down to uh, like a half of it. Plus, it's cool looking and it's red, so it's gotta be good. Let's go put it in. Quick tip: I'm gonna add to the uh, video for the installation when installing the plunger. Don't just do it the way I did, because everything goes flying. Get yourself a plastic bag and work underneath it, because it's real pain to get it in, and it's really easy to, lo to, lo to lose it. Another little note they missed in the video, they, uh, they give you a set screw that locks, come on, locks everything in place, but they don't talk about it in the video, and uh, your over travel is then really hard to adjust. So, I'm just gonna put this in. I put a I put a little Loctite on it. I did remove the magazine disconnect. So let's put it back together. Okay, all done. It sure looks pretty. And it's definitely in the range that they advertise. I adjusted the pre-travel just a hair. And the old travel. Let me show you the reset now. Real nice. So let's go out and shoot it. All right, we're at the range. Smith and Wesson Victory tandem cross trigger. Nice and red. Hey, match it my Seymour. All right, let's see. Really nice and sweet trigger. Wow. Well, if you only have $40 and you want to upgrade your Smith & Wesson Victory, stack trigger is not bad, a lot better than the Beretta Neos I used to have. But this makes one sweet upgrade. And uh, if you watch the video of uh, Tandem Cross, how to install it, with the exception of my notes, uh, it's all there. I'm no gunsmith. I never really worked on a trigger except this. And uh, it was fairly easy. As always, everybody, have fun. Keep shooting.